Hello, and this is a tutorial. Hello, this is a tutorial vid for Computer Studio 8, and I shall be talking about Zoom and Pan audio transitions and uh, some tips in f audio if you have some trouble with it. Anyways, let's let's just basically um, get done with on Zoom and Pan. Zoom and Pan basically says. Let's say you want to focus on like a part of the video. For example, this Pinkie Pie head. I want. I just want to zoom into that. Okay. So I would uh, on the right side when you press zoom and pan, it will just focus more on Pinkie Pie, and uh, you'll actually see what the video will look like. And you can actually just pretty much focus everything onto Pinkie Pie, and then there you go. But keep in mind that. When you zoom and pan, it'll try and stretch the part that you zoomed into a rectangle, so that's why it doesn't actually look as much as it was before, but I can still live with it, okay? And last, I would say rock uh, Okay, now you notice... Fuck this! Okay. <laughs> now. Okay, so let me just tell you one thing, okay. When you zoom and pan, there's something called maintain aspect ratio. Maintain aspect ratio means that when you actually start zooming into something, it will stay as a rectangle as you can't zoom into one part of the video and make of a square and you can't really do that. If you want let's say you want to focus on a square, you take off maintain aspect ratio. That's basically how you do it. Okay, so the zoom in panel will just stay normal like that until at some part, like, um, this is about somewhere close to more than a minute or so, and, well, not really a minute, like a couple, 10, 15 seconds. Now, at this point, I was, let's say I was, like, watching the video, I was here, zoom in, then, up to this point, I want back to normal or something. You press 1-1, one, one, and then, bam, just back to normal. But how about you're, like, for whatever reason, you want the video to be smaller. You would go to scale, and then you would go back, 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 back. And there you go. Then, at this point, you want to back one to one. There you go. That is that is your video. That's that's zoom and pan in a nutshell. It's, ba it's, ba it's pretty f um, straightforward, and it's it's really not hard to use smart um, smart focus smart focus is basically it will just detect any areas where it it will detect any areas where there's like wasted space and just zoom the video so that that space is not um, wasted into the video like for this pink area like it says oh I recognize that there's a pink area here I'm gonna get rid of that and then it will zoom in that's basically smart focus audio. Um, okay, now here's a good example because there's two audio files. Okay, now I just want to get this onto the record. If you record with Camtasia Recorder, it's most likely going to record in camera. When I say most likely, as in you can change it to to record and with an AVI file, but It'll, it can record in camera. Camera will only work for Camtasia Studio, nothing else. It's specifically made. And camera is really good because, one, it'll record the system audio. So if you're recording a game, it'll record the game audio and your micro microphone audio separately. As if, if it was an AVI file, it would just combine into one audio track. So let's say your voice is way too loud for the video, you can easily change that in in the video um in Camtasia Studio. Okay, so it says selecting the uh, audio me to edit. So I want to edit the music here, okay? Okay, so let's let's enable level one. Level variation. Level variation is it will basically try and get the audio levels to sort of sync up to a point where one's not too loud or one is too loud. It's basically medium volume variation is they put it at a point where it's sort of basically the same 
one is a little bit louder than the other. Voice volume variation, low volume variation, very quiet. High volume just burst in your ear. Okay, custom settings. I don't know what the hell ratio threshold and gain is. If you do, then this would be perfect for you because you would know what the hell you're doing. No, okay, noise remover. Oh yeah. Okay, so let's just okay. Noise remover. If you have static in the video, like in your mic, um, basically you can. In your playhead, there's this red and blue thing. I mean, red and green. One of my color line. Anyways, and you just pull one, and it'll basically tell a section in the video. This is the section that, let's say, they're static. Like, you just want to isolate the static in one audio, then you use enable voice remover, and then done. Okay? It's just, it's just done. It's gone. Or, let's say, you have something in the background you don't want. If you just get a recording of that background, and then you just use voice remove noise removal, it's, go it's done. It's gone. Clippings. Um, it's um, clipping and clicks. Clicks are well, you, sort of like your mouse clicking. Clippings is um, sometimes the voice, sometimes the audio will have these like sounds that are kind of weird. And if you just want that to stop, you just do remove clippings. Now, if you do change up your audio, here's um, a warning is a warning is that your Voice audio, if you're trying to get rid of static, static in your microphone uh, through Camtasia Studio, your voice might come out echoey. Just because, just because that static is was meant to be there so your a voice will actually sound normal, you have to have an actual good mic for there to be no echo and for there to be little or no static. Like, my mic still produces static, but it doesn't now, it does now, like, it doesn't produce an echo anymore. Final, final thing, transitions. Now, first, let me just add another picture. Okay, let's just move that here. There. Transitions. Now, let's say you had two videos next to each other, or for my instance, two images next to each other. You basically would know what a transition is. Um, how to just change from one video to another, or one picture to another. It's very simple to use. Get any transition you like. Anything. Then, um, you see these yellow areas here. That's where you can put a transition. Notice that you can't put it to music. You, you just can't. I mean, like, you, you can try. It just looks dumb, right? Now, you... Okay, let's see where... Even though it's yellow in this area and I can put transition there, that'll do nothing. Well, I guess it's sort of like a transition in, but it's basically, if you want transition from picture to picture, you want the transition to be like this. And then let me just show you what it looks like. What? Oh, whoops. Hold on. Now, um, tra the transition is kind of small, so, like, when you put down a transition, it'll be very fast. Let me just, let's say that. You can make the transition a little bit longer. So, as you'll see, see how that picture is going, like, pixelated. And now, it's that. And that's basically the transition. In the next video, I'm going to be talking about um, cursor effects, visual properties, voice narration, and uh, that will be that will be in the next video. So then, bye.